All right, it's day, uh, what is this, two or three here? I uh, didn't get a lot done yesterday. Uh, I had a bunch of stuff I had to get done, but um, today we're going to pull the engine out and get it on a stand. Uh, all that's left are the five bolts, or I think there's five, there might be two. Yeah, I think it's five, so one on each side, one, two, three four and i think there's one at the top too so it's kind of a that those back ones kind of suck but so those five and then engine mounts and then uh we'll be pulling it out so i'm gonna just do a little cleanup here and then get the engine stand out and the engine hoist out and start kind of looking at where we're going to support this thing when we pull it um I know this looks like it would be really nice. Wonder if it would hold. It probably would. So I'll probably use this guy and maybe uh, that. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Um, might use some head bolts. Uh, just the put a nut on these. That would probably work too, because then it'd be picking up from the top. So probably use the head bolts. Uh, but that means I gotta pull the valve cover to get the inside ones, so. Alright, well, we got a few more things left to get done, and then we'll start working on pulling this thing out. Well, that escalated pretty quickly. Um, so, tried really hard to get those two top bolts out back there. They're the E14 uh, style bolts. Um, they are this size right here. Um, tried everything I tried lowering the engine still attach the trans as far as I can uh, and it won't uh, give me enough space back there to get anything on there because they are torqued super tight so I don't think this engines ever been out um, so it's making it a little bit more difficult but I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, pretty much disconnect the drive shafts and the shift linkages and drop the back of the engine and trans as far as I can. You can see I've I tried taking the head off to give me more space. I tried taking dropping the engine mounts as far as they'll go. None of that's working. There's the head right there. Um, it's getting super frustrating trying to get that out, uh, and it's not working. So we're gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up this chaos that's happening right now, and then. Uh, take the drive shaft off and the shift linkages so I don't break anything and then drop the back of the engine well I'll support it with the engine mount here or engine hoist and then in the back I'll support it with like a jack stand or a floor jack drop it down and try to get uh, uh, something on the back two bolts back there you can see I tried to make this uh, I went down and bought a socket that'll fit it and I tried welding it to this wrench uh, Try to do that. Uh, didn't work. There's just not enough, not enough room in there to turn it because um, it hits the firewall. And if you put, ex or if you put um, universal joints on ratchets and try to get it from back farther, there's just, there's just no way to hold it and turn it all at the same time. So it's kind of a pain. Um, those bolts will not be going back in there. I will be putting regular hex head bolts on there uh, just so you can get something on there the the trick what's making it the most difficult is this star bit just doesn't doesn't allow for much uh, uh, slippage <laughs> it, it slips off real easy and it's also you can only go on it in like what is that like 10 or 15 degree increments or whatever that is so it's kind of a pain to get that off so I'll be changing those out uh, they're right there, that one, and there's one on the other side which is even tighter. Um, but yeah, so those might get cut off if this next thing doesn't work and I'll just throw new bolts in there later. But anyway, uh, I got the head off, cylinder walls look pretty good. I think I stopped it, or I restarted this project before it caused any real damage. But you can see that down in there where's you can see that cam is not shiny and then see how shiny that one is that one so there's a couple loads in there on that cam that are super shiny 
Uh, so, which is shows that there's some pretty decent wear. I'll get this disassembled later, and we'll just do a real quick valve job on it. Um, I suspect that the oil seal in this guy, actually, this oil seal in the intake, uh, is shot because this cylinder kept getting uh, oil all over the spark plug and everything. So I got new bolts. I'm not worried about those. Got new lifters and push rods. None are bent, I don't think. Um, and then got all my rocker assembly here. So anyway, I was hoping it'd be out yesterday, but it didn't work out. So we're gonna try some different different steps. All right, engine's out finally. <clears throat> uh, these back two bolts were uh, pretty rounded by the time I was all said and done. Uh, I tried everything, tried dropping the transmission down as far as I could, uh, removed the linkage, all that good stuff. Uh, I was about to actually rip out the transmission with it, but I was actually unable to uh, get a Dremel tool back there and grind off the heads because uh, it's not threaded it's not threaded through the bell housing it's only threaded into the block so all I did was uh, just cut the back heads off with the Dremel tool <clears throat> and then I was able to come out and then I just took them out in an easy day but those uh, bolt heads were a real pain to get out so I don't know maybe uh, maybe if you take those two top ones out first uh, it would like relieve some of the tension on it I'm not sure uh, but anyway, it's out, and now it's time for the cleanup. <clears throat> a big cleanup because the uh, torque converter puked out all the transmission fluid. Uh, a little bit more coolant came out of the block. Um, I emptied it all out now, but yep, that's what the cardboard is for down there. It absorbed most of it, so I'll throw that away. Um, then I can start tearing this bad boy down and then uh, pressure washing it getting it good to go um, same thing with the head I'm gonna lap the valves and just do a basic job on that got all the parts in here everything's all labeled uh, I got my cam in today which is pretty cool so it's got a little better uh, duration and everything on there so this should give me a little more a little more torque, a little more power. Uh, I might have to do, might have to upgrade the throttle body with this. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, parts are coming in. We're good to go with that. So today, I'm just gonna clean up this disaster area that has occurred, and uh, probably drain the oil out of that, and then pressure wash, do all that fun stuff. So, yep. The engine is out. It took longer than I wanted it to, but those again, those two top bolts were uh, a bit of a nightmare. So, but finally one. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll keep uh, keep making videos on this. All right, got the engine disassembled here. Um, See, so took the pistons out and the crank out and the cam out and everything. Uh, nothing looks too uh, out of the normal for 250,000 miles. No damage on any of the cylinder walls. Um, the only thing that I noticed was the cam has some uh, uneven wear on it. Um, some of the lobes uh, feel a little bit more coarse than the other ones. So I don't know if that's just a lack of maintenance on this thing uh, or just because it's got so many miles on it. Um, but all the bearings looked pretty decent uh, except the number six piston rod bearing. Uh, that one looked like it was spun a little bit. Uh, that's the only one that actually looked like it came out. Uh, or the only one that came out when I took it apart. So uh, It doesn't feel like any real damage there, but I could feel on the bearing, I can feel wear. So. And all the pistons were really easy to come out. Uh, so I think they, it was time they had reached their, their lifespan, I think. Uh, I got all my... Uh, main bearing caps there, and then the cranks over here. Uh, so I'll just clean this up real good. All the bearing surfaces look fine, 
so that's good. The only thing, uh, another thing that I noticed was the cylinders that I had low compression on. Uh, the actual counterweights here um, have all kinds of uh, just carbon built up on them and it's only on the ones that I had low compression on. So number one, this you can see that's just it's a different shade of black. Uh, so this one has a bunch of oil on it and that one has a bunch of carbon on it. And same thing for the number six as well. So, but, yep, so I'm gonna just take some time now and clean up everything and um, get everything nice and nice and clean for reassembly eventually when I get all the parts. So, but yeah, there we go. It's all tore down, everything's in order at the workbench that's not in order anymore uh but yeah anyway that concludes was this day this is probably the third or fourth day that i've been working on it so yep thanks for watching